What is up everyone, I'm Jay Semp, and we are back here with another epic art video. So, most of you here are probably from my TikTok, just saw this video, thank you so much for coming over here and taking the time to watch this video, because it's about to be epic. We're about to turn this emoji into some nightmare fuel, and it's gonna get weird, but it's gonna be cool, I'm gonna explain you my process and all that stuff, and if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Definitely trying to grow this channel, trying to make more content for you, Comment below what emoji you want to see me do next on this channel. Let's try to get this video to 150 likes. Uh, I've never gotten that many likes before, so I think that would be epic. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. So, without further ado, let's draw. Oh, I'm over here now. Um, so basically I created this in Procreate. It's the app that I use on my iPad. Um, it's the app that I've been using to create all of these digital pieces that you've been seeing on my TikTok. Right now I'm currently working on the eye portion of this weird realistic emoji. And instead of adding a pupil to the iris, I decided to make it look like a burning ember. So I started with some yellow and let it let that expand out to give that glowing effect. And I just duplicated that eye, a great, great little tool that I can do on Procreate. Um, super fun did the same thing to the eyebrow and yeah trying to give that really kind of scared tired look um, I also want to make the eyes look really big to give this like you know spherical warp perspective look um, something that I've been wanting to do because it really draws you into the piece it's not flat um, and that's one of the biggest things I've been trying to do with these emojis is not only make them realistic but really just distorted and weird nightmare fuel. Um, so right now I'm working on the tongue. I wanted to give it a more realistic feel, so I kind of changed the shape of it, added more realistic shading, and right now I'm adding some specular lighting to make it look nice and wet and you that sounds weird, but anyways, um, now I'm adding the gradient of the orange to make this dude look like he's heated. And finally adding the 3D elements. And right now, right now, we're about to get into some cool stuff. So I decided to make this look even creepier that I would be adding drips. So basically this dude is so hot that he is melting. And I got that idea from the little teardrop sweat emoji thing um, from the original emoji, but instead of adding like sweat, I was just like, this dude just needs to be melting. So I'm adding those melting bits, um, color dropping the different parts of the face so that the melts would not all be the same color, um, adding some shadows to essentially make it more realistic and make it pop a lot more, and then adding the specular lighting to make it look wet and drippy and all that weird stuff. But yeah, pretty much just adding the final details on it right now. I'm about to be zooming in to show you those details because super proud of it. There's so much detail packed into it. Um, great thing I love about digital is that it translates very well into video. So yeah, um, I'm about to cut back to my outro and yeah, yeet. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that video. I had so much fun making this piece. Doing all this work on the iPad has been a game changer. Shout out to 1000 who inspired me to get the iPad and go into digital art because honestly, like I've been able to create all this epic stuff. Definitely more to come. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. Let's uh, let's try to get this viral, maybe? Um, no, I'm, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. Uh, I don't really know how to do these outros, it's been a long time. Anyways, um...